Hey YouTube, I hope all is well. I hope you have been enjoying my videos and photos and this new vlog thing. Now, yes, I do know that I should be taking more videos than photos. So from this point on in any of my next adventures, I will be uh, showing you more actual videos and I will be going live when I can because in certain countries, I'm not using my data. So I can't always go live, but when I'm in the States, I can go live with you. So the purpose of this video is just to introduce my next adventure. Um, a few months ago, I just returned from Ghana and I had to go to Senegal. The reason I'm going to Senegal again for the fourth time is because I purchased some land there. So it's super exciting. I purchased some land at Lake Rose, also known as Pink Lake. And I will be showing you the complete journey from the beginning to the end. Okay. So we already have it planned out. It's not a big plot. You know, it's just something really simple. I'll be using it for tourism, inviting my guests from the States and all over the world to come and visit and just have a good time. You know, vacationing is my thing. Tourism is my thing. I've spent a lot of money traveling to different places. So it felt good to actually own a piece of land in the motherland. So I'm really excited about that. Now, other questions that people may ask is how I'm able to do what I do. No, I don't have that bag. I am not rich. I am a single mom. I raised two children by myself practically. Yeah, but it's not, you know, it ain't a bad thing. We had a good journey. Me and my kids, we went a lot of different places. Uh, I love cruising with them. Now they're at the age where they don't want to go anywhere with me because they say, mom, you go away and you be gone for like a month. And I just want to go for a week and come right back. So they choose not to roll with me no more. But it's okay because they're older, you know, 21. My son, his last year is this year in uh, high school. So, I mean, we cool. Y'all want to roll with mom no more? Fine, because I don't have no problem with going. But anyways, um, the, how I'm able to travel and how I was able to travel so, so much previously is I'm a frugal traveler, okay? So, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself cheap, but I'm a penny pincher. And I sacrifice some things to be able to do other things. For instance, um, I remember one time my kids asked me why we don't have cable. Okay. Cause they was, I mean, no, they asked me why they're not rich like London Tipton and Zach and Cody. Remember that Disney show, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Well, yeah, it was a long time ago. But when they asked me that question, why are we not rich? And I'm like, I didn't provide you a house. I mean, you got cable to be able to watch that. You know, you got a good community, you know, all this good, this good things going on. So I'm thinking. So when they said that, I was like, okay, well, we about to be poor. Because all that money I was spending on cable for her to ask me why we not rich, I was like, okay, so we can cut that down. We don't need too much TV time because this is education time. So all that to say, I didn't pay into cable bills. Um, I don't have car notes. I usually pay my cars, you know, straight out, which helps on insurance because I'm just liable for, you know, liability. I don't have to have full coverage or anything like that. Um, let's see. Um, I'm just frugal in a lot of different areas. I know how to cut back. So I don't buy like real expensive things. I mean, we have the mandatory things that we need, you know, food. I pay my bills, you know, I'm not asking people to help me pay my rent. Um, another important thing is I do not travel on credit. So I remember my grandfather saying, if you don't have the money, then you don't need to be flowing. Now, this doesn't apply to everybody because some people can fly on credit and they have 
uh, major advantages. So they get cash backs and different things like that. But for me, I just like to use my cash because a vacation should be a stress-free experience. I don't want to come back home off a of vacation and that, um, that bill is waiting for me in the mailbox. And the reason being is because I'm trying to plan my next adventure. So, you know, if you can kind of cut down on debt in any way possible, that helps a lot. Um, so that's one thing that really helped me with the travel experience. And I was able to save a lot of money. I was also a remote worker. So I worked from home. I had a lot of vacation time, a lot of time over, I would say, 17, 18 years that was just stacking up. So I was able to be able to go places and use my leave. So that was a good thing. Um, I would also recommend, I'm sorry, somebody was calling in. But also I wanted to say, um, I also go on trips, not doing like major holidays if the price is not right. So I'm a kind of a spontaneous traveler. So if I see a deal, for example, I'll be going to DC uh, and it just came back from DC, but the flight from Atlanta to BWI, $35, $40. I've traveled to Paris, I showed you in that last video, for $109. So when I see deals pop up, that's how I determine when I'm going somewhere. So I, I travel on deals, not necessarily on holidays or whatever. It just all depends on if the price is right. So that is another factor. But, um, you know, it's, it's different ways of saving money, conserving and fitting your needs into what you want to do. And, you know, it all works, but I'm just sharing what works for me. So, let me get into the videos of Senegal, my journey. I'm going to be showing the plot. I'm going to be showing me going out a few times. Uh, what else did I do? I went to Sally. I went to St. Louis. Uh, I can't even really think. But once I start posting the videos, you'll be able to see the complete journey when I went back to Senegal. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. So this is the Nixa apartment place. I like it. It's cool. They have stores down here. I'm going to go down here to the store. But this is one of the rooms. This apartment has two two rooms. I don't even need all this space. It's so big. You know, I think that's why the price was what it was. But this price is actually a good price for two bedrooms. So, this is one room. And this is the little living room. In kitchen area it's real cute I'm gonna invite Fatu over and this is go out on the balcony here you see the mix of community I love the decor here it's really cute and then there's another bathroom you see I have all this this space I have all this space I don't even need all this space this is another room. It's really nice. This is really cute. Um, look, you still go out on the balcony. The balcony wraps all the way around. Okay. Let's go. I have all this room. I can have like a party. Too much space. And this is the kitchen. 
That's like the cutest little, it's real cute. Some door there. So I like it. I'm happy. She decorated real cute. She was professional. The man came and helped me. So everything's good. We're sitting in Afrique. A nice little facility. And they're the owners. When I say I want to own a piece of Afrique, right? I want to own a piece of Afrique. This is 2,500 square meter. This is a lot of space. How much How much space do, did your hotel take? Yeah, you see, it's near the hotel. Yeah. Hotel Iris. Yeah, but for your yeah, hotel. Mine is the, is the right there, yeah. There? Yeah. But your hotel is more. Yeah. It's, no, it's, no, no, no. No? That one? Uh -huh. The other one? No. Okay, so this will be his land space, I guess. This is across the street. There is a road. And it overlooks the sea. Let me see. Yeah, I like the rooftop. This is really nice. See a nice view. So big. Oh my God. This is freaking huge. Who needs all this? This is really big. Uh -huh. A lot of cleaning. And you have the outdoor, you can have a barbecue, uh -huh. bar set up. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is nice. It's very big. Oh, yeah. Land, there's kind of like a little rock. So mm -hmm. I don't know how easy or hard that'll be to. So that's yeah. Hawaiian. I see the other one over there. Two. I see. You see it over there behind that white oh, that bird? Oh, go back there. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. With that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if the cows are free. Wow. Okay. I got you. Okay. So this is lot one thirty nine. This is considered. Uh huh. 132 and this is 180 meters this is a pretty big the airport is over there 12 by 15 meters okay this is pretty big Okay, so I like this spot. More space. You got here, 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 here. That's the lake view. You have a few things there. That's okay. This is the view. If I go up, this is the view that I would see. You can still get quads over here to go around the lake but I think this is this is good one this is a good one so that's the lake and this is the land it's far enough back far enough back from the lake it's very close to the entrance I'm loving that I don't gotta drive miles inside
I got a whole team with me today. <laughs> Get me from where, girl? We are deep. So deep. I came, I saw, I conquered. The first time I came to Senegal, I fell in love. This time, I was on a mission. I was like, I'm buying me a piece of Africa. And I did it. Forever grateful. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like yeah. three minutes from my lot. I walked up here. This is absolutely beautiful. See? This is paradise. Yeah. Rose, nice place. Such a nice place. It's a journey, not a destination. There's no mistakes, just chances we take. And I took that chance, you know? Eminem said you only get one shot. I took that shot. I was in a country where I didn't know their language. I don't know French. I don't know Wolof. I had a great group of people in my corner. Um, even though I thought I was going there, you know, a little bit kind of, I never was afraid, but I didn't know what I was doing. But there were people set in place for me when I got there. It was like amazing. Literally, I met a group of people that helped me with the signing the day before I actually purchased the land. My girl Fatu, who you see right here, I met her my first go around in Senegal. And she's like my bodyguard. I'm the big sister. She the little sister. She be running it. Okay, but it's okay because she knows Africa. So I follow her lead. After I did the purchase, I called Fatu. I was like, come on, Fatu. We about to turn up. We went to our favorite restaurant and voila, we just sat there. After I made the purchase in Senegal, I rewarded myself and I went to Zanzibar. Sure did. So I will be covering that in my next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.